All right, this is just an update. I'm back in New York. I'm in this uh, edition. I'm going to finish this up. Well, I'm not going to get it totally finished, probably. I'm here for about, I got one week. I'm going to do as much as I can get done in a week. And I'm starting off with uh, the hairdo. Look at the hair. I am cultivating the ultimate mullet. I think this is a man's haircut, you know? Keeps the sun off the back of your neck when it's hot and sunny. Keeps your head warmer in the wintertime. <laughs> Alright, so anyhow, this is where we're at. <clears throat> Just got up here. Got my uh, overall apron on here. And I just spent most of the morning getting all the stuff set up because they had to put a floor in. I'm going to show all this off right now, tell you what I'm going to do. And then at the end of this uh, week, we'll see how far I got. See how nice it looks. I'll give you a little tour here so far. <clears throat> so the ceiling's in, ceiling fan is in, and electricity's working. So no more stepping over cords and everything else. First thing I have to do today is I have to build these columns down to the floor. This is five inches of floor, by the way. There's foam insulation and then this OSB. There's going to be underlayment, and I think they're going to end up with a linoleum. Originally, the plan was to pour three inches of concrete over two inches of foam. But this, this project keeps changing. Um, anyhow, that's how it's working. So I'm going to build these columns down, put the corner bead on, mud that, I have to put beadboard inside the soffit on both sides. I have to stick this insulation up in here. I've got to run a nailer across there because we're going to, hopefully, I'm going to double check, but we're thinking about running the beadboard in this direction, same direction as the ceiling here. As long as i got enough of that, I'll do it. And you're going, hey, how are you going to do that? So we're going we're gonna to try to tie in the beadboard that runs from this soffit down and across. I'm going to run from both ends. I'm either going to break it in two places or just one in the center. If this outlet was correctly placed, or this box, this junction box, was correctly placed at center, that's probably where I will create a little block there, uh, which no, most people will never notice. Uh, but who knows? It might actually work out. I have to hang a fascia board across here to match these. When I bought these fascia boards, obviously all three of them were the same size, and this is, you know, I just wasn't thinking. When I put the beadboard down, it rests upon the face of that fascia, it shrinks the height of the fascia, which means the other piece I have downstairs, I actually have to rip it to the height that you see now, so that it matches all the way across here. <clears throat> I'm hoping to get the columns and the fascia in today, and get the beadboard in. Then the next step is trimming out these windows. We've got five quarter clear pine for the sills and five quarter clear pine as well for the top. And it's going to be interesting here because the plan is, and, and this is going to be funky here. We've got a bunch of different ideas to deal with the trim around this door uh, because the door jam is plumb as it needs to be for the door to work, but the walls aren't. So I'm considering adding something here that comes straight out and then running the drywall and the trim to it. I think about breaking it up with the sill. I think about running the sill to that piece, resting it and adding another piece below. It's going to get a little funky, but it's going to be bitching. And then on the top, I want to do the one by or the, the five quarter here and run that straight across, right across here and create a cavity up in here. So obviously this will get jammed out first, but you could put a blind up there if you want. And then that same detail will be wrapped around all three sides. So that obviously will match. You may not understand it, but when it's in, you'll see it. Of course, not all the windows are hung exactly the same. Uh, you can, you know, I can point all this out to you, you probably can't see it on camera. There's a taller gap on that right window at the top than there is at the bottom. Most of the rest of these have about a quarter inch reveal around the sides. So in a few spots, I'm going to have to fiddle around with that and shimming so that it looks correct where the casing meets the window here. So you have an equal reveal from this point here to the casing. I'm going to try to get that to look as good as possible. It's one of those things that most people won't notice when it's in, but it's one of those things that will bother people who do notice. 
I don't always do this work for the homeowner as much as I do for other guys like me and maybe you if you're watching this. Uh, I like when somebody else who understands the trade comes into a job I did and they go, wow, that dude knew what he was doing. That's how you should think when you're doing this sort of work. You always want to impress the other guys who come after you. <laughs> you don't want the guy who comes after you to go, man, that guy really screwed up. <laughs> I hate being that guy. He, uh, the homeowner, took the cladding off of the wood frame on this slider. This is something I never would have thought to do. I didn't know you could do it, and that's bitching. And so the, the trim is going to run, you know, we're just going to run it and butt it right to here. And that's going to be kind of a cool look. It'll be something a little bit different. It's nice when you're working with somebody who doesn't have the, you know, look, we'll call it the traditional mindset. And the traditional mindset is really just what everybody else does. That doesn't mean it's right. right? You can do whatever you want. There's really no right or wrong with everything. A lot of this stuff is just personal preference, and you can invent something. Um, I'm not going to miter any of these corners. We're going to run a top piece and then run straight down. Uh, that's a better look and we're doing the top piece is thicker so it protrudes a little bit and then the verticals are going to butt up underneath it and you've got a little shadow line there that makes things more interesting to look at when people come in they see the molding they go oh wow that's really cool you just got to think of it first that's all so anyhow i'm gonna get back to work here i just want to take a couple minutes to do this now that i'm set up i can actually start work and i got to frame these parts like i said for the columns sheetrock them and I'm repeating myself. So that's it. Have a good day. Be good to each other. Uh, I'll show you a video at the end of the week with this. There may be a, a video or two in between with the van stuff. Um, but mostly I'm just going to be working my butt off. <clears throat> you hear I'm a little, I got a little sick down in Jersey surfing. I got a sinus thing that turned into a little bit of a cold. I was pretty, pretty uh, miserable there for a few nights in the van. And then I went surfing yesterday morning, and I think that actually helped me out. I feel a lot better today, and uh, now I'm just energized. Got to get the work done, so I'm back.